Hello, pinwheel friends. I hope everybody is doing well. Today we are going to work on making monsters. So supplies that are needed are toilet paper roll, googly eyes if you have. If you don't have any googly eyes, it's okay. You can use uh, paper, you can draw the eyes on. Color pencils or crayons or markers. I actually chose to grab some natural stuff from outside, so I have some leaves here. I have some uh, tree bark that I'm going to use for the hair later on, uh, glue, a pair of scissors, and please be safe with the scissors. And I also have some gems that I'm going to add for mine. Uh, you can also use foil as well. I'm going to add some foil into this monster making thing, and it's quite easy to tear up. You don't have to use the scissors on this. So the way that I made this monster, I like to begin by coloring it first. So let's add some color to our project. I'm going to go with orange for today. So you're going to color in your paper towel roll. You can use an array of colors. You can even do designs if you'd like. You can draw hearts on your monster. You can make stars. Whatever your imagination takes you, go for it. So color in mine orange. I want mine to be an orange monster. You can also use paint as well if you have paint available. So for this one, I would like to put some... I'm going to use sticker eyes. I have some really cool sticker eyes here that I think would work very, very well. Um, these are the ones that I'm going to use. These kind of look like monster eyes, don't they? And these ones are peel off, so I don't have to use any glue, which is just great. So I'm going to apply that there. And I'm thinking I want my monster to have a really, really cool nose. And I'm going to go with a heart shape gem. So I'm going to apply some glue there. And let's stick that gem on for his nose. I want this one to have a, a mouth that I'm going to draw on. As you can see in this one, I used leaves and caps from some kind of berry that grew on a tree outside. So this one I'm going to draw on a smile. This one's going to be a smiley monster. And I'm using a red color pencil. Actually, I'm going to draw some fangs in there too. Why not, right? It's supposed to be a monster. Let's draw some sharp teeth in there. Let's draw that on there. Great. Now, I want mine to have some foil on it, so I'm going to tear up some more foil and I'm going to glue that on there. And actually, before I do that, I'm going to make a little incision to put arms on. And this one that I did has branches for arms, but I do have some pipe cleaner, so I'm going to add a pipe cleaner through it. And if you need help making a hole, please ask your parents. Um, don't use the scissors the way that I'm using it. They do not want anybody to get hurt. So uh, ask your parents for help with that. And then this just goes straight through. If I can get it through now. There it goes. Go straight through, little arms. And now I'm going to add some tin foil. Give it a little bit of dimension. Let's add a few spots there and there of glue. So add some of that on. Add some of that. And some of that and I thought it'd be kind of fun to cut the bark that I found and make hair so I'm gonna cut the hair like this I'm gonna do spiky hair I'm gonna have it sticking up the way I did the leaves on the first one so you can just put it I'm gonna put it on the front no actually I'm gonna put it on the back I'm just gonna put some glue all along the back here get it nice and glued up to make sure that it's gonna stick and I'm going to start by placing my tree bark here. You really want to squish it down and make sure that's going to stick. Okay. There you go. There goes my little monster. So you're just going to let it dry. And when it dries, you can play with it. 
So now we are going to read a book called The Monster Who Lost His Mean. The author is Tiffany Haber, and the book is illustrated by Kirsty Edmonds. Monsters are a spooky bunch, a scary, hairy group. They run in packs, leave giant tracks, and dine on eyeball soup. No! Monster stands for mean, observant, noisy, super strong, and tough to please, envious, remarkable, a monsters, all of these. One day a monster's end went missing, gone without a trace. And every M is custom made, the kind you can't replace. So now he's just the onster and the tease and never ends. Not only has he lost his mean, he's lost his monster friends. Look, his friends are making fun of him and he's putting up signs looking for his M. Will he find his M? Let's read on and see. Boom, boom, crunch, crunch. The onster sits alone for lunch. <laughs> Sigh. The onster's sad and starts to cry. Look what he's eating, my friends. He's eating eyeball soup. Yuck! I'm nothing since I lost my meat. He sobs into the stew. I've got to find the M or else it's bye-bye, monster crew. Was that okay for his friends to treat him like that? Look at how sad he is. The onster tears through all his sheets and peeks beneath his bed. Explores around the playground and picks apart his shed. He empties every ca garbage can in all of monster wood. He even checks the engine under every monster's hood. Do you see the M anywhere? Can we find that M for him? Mm, I don't see it. Nothing, not a, not a trace. He hangs his hairy head. Without my M, I'm not myself. I'm someone else instead. He can't be mean to human kids, so why not help with chores? Sweeping, heaping, lighthouse keeping, organizing drawers. He joins in all the soccer games and rules at basketball. He doesn't seem to miss that missing M so much after all. Look, my friends, he's happy. He's playing with human kids and he's having a really, really good time. I'm having tons of fun, he laughs, returning from a swim. But then he hears some other monsters making fun of him. The monster feels embarrassed. He sees their point of view. I really need to stop this stuff and do what monsters do. Is that okay to make fun of your friend for being a little bit different? Maybe I'll pretend I'm mean. I bet it's not that hard. Perhaps I'll pull the flowers up from Mrs. Power's yard. He stares at all the roses in their stunning shade of red, but just can't bear to harm them. So he waters them instead. Isn't that sweet? The onster thinks, I'll throw some eggs at Mr. Lander's van, but winds up cooking brunch for the entire Lander clan. He ends up making lunch for the whole family. I'm way too nice without my M. My monster days are through. I just don't fit in monster wood. I'm not sure what to do. He sadly heads on home again with teardrops in his eyes. He swings his front door open and is greeted with... Surprise! Look at all his human friends. They showed up to show support. A party in his honor, the Einstein's eyes grow wide. His name and picture cover every empty space inside. 
I'm not a monster after all, the answer comprehends. I may have lost my M, but then I found amazing friends. Look at all his friends. Boom, boom, pow, pow, the oyster waves and he takes a bow. Let's have three cheers. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. He's happier in every way. The end. I hope you enjoyed this book, my friends, as much as I do. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.